You can't mention Mars Wrigley without mentioning Tim LaBelle. Born March 7, 1967 in Nashua, New Hampshire, Tim is the son of Leo and Ellen and has two siblings, Christine and Jason. He credits his dad for teaching him about loyalty and commitment as Leo worked three jobs to support the family. He learned financial aptitude from his mother who went back to work to help pay for Tim's education. A 1985 graduate of Alvern High School in Hudson, New Hampshire, Tim attended Southern New Hampshire University, majoring in marketing and finance. He met the love of his life, Nancy, in college. They married on June 21, 1997, and have two sons, Devin and Bryce. An avid sports fan, a Boston sports fan specifically, Tim has always loved to watch and play soccer. In fact, the company's World Cup sponsorship is what initially attracted him to Mars Wrigley. His passion for the game and the opportunity to work for a company with iconic brands helped seal the deal. Tim's Mars career began in 1990 as a sales representative for Mars Chocolate North America. Perseverance is a trait he developed early on, as he recalls applying multiple times before securing an interview. Tim's ascension within Mars has had many rungs. He credits his first boss, Gary Wollner, pictured here with Tim, for seeing something in him he didn't know existed. Gary gave him a chance and taught him the foundation of the confectionery industry. In 1993, Tim was promoted to key account representative, then moved to retail sales manager in 1995. One year later, he would move to key account manager where he worked for a year before spending five years as senior national account manager. He became director of sales operations in 2003 and the same year had his most memorable career moment, induction into the Mars Tie and Scarf Club. Here is Tim with Victoria Mars and then Mars Chocolate North America President Tracy Massey at Tim's 25-year service anniversary. Tim was elevated to Vice President of Sales and Strategic Accounts in 2006. Here is the LaBelle family that same year at a PNC Art Center concert. Tim is a die-hard live music fan and attends as many live concerts as he can. A true believer in continual learning being vital to success, Tim obtained his master's in organizational leadership from Gonzaga University in 2007. Setting a good example for his boys, he completed his MBA with a 3.9 GPA while working full time. One year later, he crossed the pond to participate in the Global Business Consortium at the London School of Business Center for Management and Development. Despite his busy international travel schedule, Tim still found time to hit the beach on a family vacation in 2008 in Panama City. After three years leading sales and strategic accounts, Tim was named Vice President of Strategic Planning and Business Development, a position he held for a year. In 2010, he assumed the role of Vice President of Sales, Grocery, Value, and Military Channels. Four years later, he was promoted to Vice President of Sales for Mars Chocolate North America, which would become Mars Wrigley Confectionery U.S. in 2017. He and his boss Jim Murphy, shown here, also attended the Super Bowl that year. If you were keeping count, that's 11 positions Tim has held throughout his Mars career. The fact that that's the number of players on a full-sided soccer team is not lost on us, Tim. Tim served a critical role in Mars's integration of Wrigley, participating as a core member of the team which ensured a seamless transition, creating increased value for both organizations. As president, Tim is responsible for driving customer centricity across Mars Wrigley's U.S. confectionery business, leading hundreds of associates in delivering exceptional customer service, consumer insights, and innovation for the company's valued retail partners. In fact, Tim took his customer service to a whole new level in 2016 while at Super Bowl 50. Most people remember this Super Bowl as Peyton Manning's ride off into the sunset, but for Tim, it will always be the time he and Kroger's Christina Groth sang on stage with the band Train at the company's Snickers party. And here's the proof. Ask Tim and he'll tell you Christina sang beautifully while he likely won't get a chair turn on the voice. Tim, if you'd like to bless us with a little bit of Train's Drops of Jupiter or Hey Soul Sister, we can certainly give you a few extra minutes at the mic tonight. From manager to director to vice president and now as president of sales for Mars Wrigley, Tim will tell you his biggest key to success is his resiliency. Having top flight sales leaders shown here also doesn't hurt. One of his biggest day-to-day -day challenges is to continuously develop category growth strategies that meet consumer trends and consumer expectations. He takes the challenge head-on by hiring, developing, and engaging world-class talent, a legacy he is proud of. 
He also seems to be challenged in getting his team to choose between the Munsters and the Adams family for the group Halloween costume. And don't let this picture fool you. Tim is highly regarded within Mars Wrigley as a mentor and teacher. Tim's disciples have gone on to become executives at Target, Walmart, and within Mars, of course. And here's Tim and baby Tim, an associate's grandson. Tim will go the extra mile for his team, even babysitting while presenting during the national sales meeting. The best way to capture his passion for confectionery and his personal deep loyalty to Mars is with a story in Tim's own words. In May 2016, I had the opportunity to travel to Sheridan, Wyoming to meet with Forrest Mars Jr. This was a very unique, special opportunity to spend time with one of the greatest entrepreneurs of our lifetime. I spent a couple of days at his ranch and learned how to herd cattle, prepare a great meal, and most importantly, how to be a better steward to the category we all love. Sitting by a campfire listening to his many life and business lessons was an evening I will never forget. He inspired me, pushed me, but most importantly, he once and for all validated why I have worked tirelessly for almost 30 years to bring small moments of joy to our consumers every day. Forrest passed away 60 days after my visit, and I will forever be grateful for our time together. Tim, just as you are grateful for the time you and Forrest had together, the countless people you have mentored, inspired, and guided during your 30 years in this industry are forever in your debt. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Tim's mentor and friend, Gary Wilner, as he helps us induct Tim into the Candy Hall of Fame.